Hi everyone, it's Catherine. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a room tour and I'm so excited because I have recently reorganized my entire room. It was actually a very random day because I just finished a paper. I turned it in. I was doing some laundry and then we were changing the sheets and I was like, you know what? I need to reorganize my room. A couple of you guys have requested me to do a room tour and I was just like, I do not like my living space right now just because it's very temporary. I'm a college grad student, which is why I just move a lot and renting is such a huge deal and we're actually considering about staying here which is why I was just like you know what if I'm gonna stay here I'm gonna renovate my space make it more roomy make it more comfortable and I am obsessed with it now so thank you guys so much for being very patient with this very uh, long-awaited room tour I'm really excited for this as well so I have done my best to make it very nice and kept and I know that's not super normal but I'd rather show you guys the nicer side of my room rather than like the super messy like typical day and I know that's not like your average day. I'm really proud when I do clean my room because I like to keep it nice and orderly but there are times when you're just like you gotta just like let it go you know what I'm saying you just gotta let it go. But let's go ahead. I'm going to show you guys everything that I have in my room. If you guys are still interested, I'll watch it in two times speed because this is going to be a long video. Let's go ahead. Let's go. Come on. So this is the entrance. Oh, I guess he thinks I'm leaving him. This is the entrance to my room right here. Next door is my roommate's room. So let's go ahead. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, it's a little puppy. Gussie is just gonna chill in here for now. So right when I close my door, I have these little hair tie things. I have no idea where to put them. And I have my kavu here. I got this literally when I graduated high school. So it's looking a little musty. Let me know down below how you guys clean like your bags. This is honestly the only bag I have. I don't really like holding like handbags and purses. I've owned a purse before and I never use it. So I always go back to like these type of bags. They're just so easy, accessible, and you guys are probably curious. Why the heck do you got this? Why is this here? The, honestly, the main reason why I have it right here is so this little six cubicle shelf, it won't hurt the door. So if you guys have anything smarter, I know you can like put stuff onto this so I won't really scratch it, but like it's been doing well. <laughs> I know it looks a little bit of a uh, little trashy, but this is what we're working with. Here's my little light switch. And then we're gonna turn right here this is where I usually will like film sometimes. I have actually organized my entire Bath and Body Works collection. And if you guys wanna see that video, I'll link that down in the description below because I love organized videos so much. But right here, we got my two wax warmers. They're not toilet paper. Literally a run on joke to people who watch my channel. And you guys are probably curious why I got an empty, almost empty water. This literally reminds me to drink water. We have a Brita downstairs actually. I got a little lazy to go downstairs because this is a two story house. Never lived in a two story house before in my entire life. So I'm just like, oh wow, <laughs> I feel a little bit uh, rich, but I'm not because it's a at home so I just have that there just to remind myself to drink at least this entire thing so yeah this is a nice setup for now and then the six cubic drawer ooh ooh this right here is what I call my aromatherapy bar because sometimes my roommates will come in and be like hey do you have any lotion and I'm like yeah I pick one here just because it's like one of those pumping uh, mechanisms it's really easy they don't have to like go through my Bath & Body Works collection and get all handsy with it. So the next cubicle contains my hand creams, room sprays, some makeup products that I'm trying to use up and I really like them because it's just like simple every day. I don't really do smoky eye. I want to try smoky eye honestly though. Down here I have my makeup brushes. Right here are my shower gels. She's hiding a couple back there, you know. <laughs> Down here I have my minis and little like hand sanitizer sprays. And right here is my little bar soaps. I actually got all these at the dollar store, whoop, whoop. I'm gonna be testing them out soon just to see what my favorite one is. But I have been watching Dr. Dre and apparently bar soap's not good for you because if you have more mature skin, it can like cause like skin issues. Ooh. <laughs> so, um, well, I gotta research more on that, but I heard it gives you the best clean, but there's consequences to getting the best clean. So. Little six drawer, really proud of it. Very organized for now. Back here, yes, I'm not gonna hide it. I have my little 
Bath and Body Works bags because they just take too much space. Right here is my little closet. I share a room with my boyfriend. So we live in this room all together and legit, I have had to like get rid of so many clothes because I was hoarding them and my boyfriend was also hoarding them. So that's his clothes, my clothes, and then some more. And then here's my book bag. I don't know where to put my book bag and I don't like leaving it around because this is more of like my internship stuff because I do online school. So I just keep it in there just to keep it tidy, you know, like out of sight, out of mind. I don't, I feel like I never talk about this section at all. This is my skincare. Sunscreen is my favorite. This is my favorite right here. This is a Japanese sunscreen, Bior UV Aqua. I got this on Amazon, legit, if you're a person of color, no white cast. It's the best. This is Equate. Here's some just generic. I have a lot of CeraVe products and some more moisturizers, ordinary products, you name it. I got it. I was a skincare junkie for a little bit. I went through a phase there. And this little second section right here, I have my pocket backs. I have my one and only perfume right there. This is Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy. I've had this since middle school. Not sure why I'm not parting it yet and I can just get a new bottle, but I have not yet to bite the bullet. And then I have all of my chapsticks right here. I love chapsticks. My lips get so dry. I need to go to a dermatologist because there's something wrong with my lips and they look really chapped, but I have that and I have some Q-tips right here, just easy access. And these are earrings. I don't really have a lot of jewelry just because I either lose it or break it. Really cute, really just nice studs. And I like to wear it when I feel fancy. <laughs> here are my Vaseline chapsticks that I recently bought. Bottom right here, very miscellaneous. And I don't know why she's always open, but just some random junk and some hairspray and some essential oils. I used to have like this diffuser thing and i think it's downstairs but bior pore strips i know they're bad for you but i bought these so long ago gosh dang and that's legit best drink stuff ever if you love like those pre-made drink mixes the powdery stuff try this out i got this so for so cheap when like a bilo was closing out that is what's right there and this is my boyfriend's section of the room and look at right here that's his setup noise noise and i don't want to go too much further in but this is what his little section looks like and then if you guys want to see right here my boyfriend is obsessed with puzzles but i'm not going to show his face but you guys i was so cute back then yes i had gray hair back then too i maybe i can put a picture right here just for actual reference and then there's another one right up here very cute very cute i looked so cute back then and then here is his little networking big computer mumbo jumbo another trash can love to see her and then look at here this is my space like this is literally like day night and i have a fan here i get hot very easily i like how people get very cold easily i get really hot easily and then here's a little lamp it's very bright white so you see that it's dark, not super bright. I like having little cards just to have like a little decor thing. I'm not really a decor person, but once I get like my own place one day, I will do some hardcore decoring. But this one's just like this card that when me and my boyfriend started dating on our first Valentine's Day. And this one is a card that my sister gave me when I graduated with my bachelor's in social work last year. I got my little warmer up top. Hey girl, hey girl. Then I got strawberry pound cake. I'm using this scent too. This is my scent of the day. Hey guys, let me know down below what your scent of the day is. This is the hand cream that I'm currently using right now. And I got my water right here. So we're sitting down now. This is where I usually film. Let me turn off this obnoxious light. Oh my gosh, this is legit <laughs> what I look at when I film my videos. So I've been filming my videos right here. I'm trying to like just do different spaces, but just doing a little glimpse around. There's some lipsticks right there. I have my mouse pad and <laughs> mouse. I've been obsessed with like this wireless thing. It's so good. I get so annoyed using the keypad tracker now. And then here's my little uh, laptop. This is the 2016 version of the MacBook Air. It's old, it's breaking down, which is really sad. And then there's the blue Yeti that I have right there. Me and my boyfriend had the same blue Yeti. His cousin gave it to him. So we both got our setups. We're cool, we're pro. And legit, my new addition to my desk. It is my one and only new love now because I can have really awesome high quality lighting now. And my boyfriend got me that for Valentine's Day, which I think is really sweet. Cords are everywhere too. And then down here, I have miscellaneous medical emergency stuff like Advil or like <laughs> uh, Tums because we got very random stuff. Tampons, like honestly tissues, 
all the good stuff right there. Very messy though, I need to organize it. And then right here is more of like the electronic drawer. Don't know, yeah, yeah. Just gonna hide her right there. So you guys know what I'm saying. You guys are probably curious like, okay, where's your bed? Where do you sleep? And let me just turn it around for you guys. This is my bed. Yay, it's a very small bed. This was actually handed down to me, so I didn't actually have to purchase one. You know, those college student life, yes sir. And my bedding is actually from my freshman year in college. This is from Walmart, literally the softest thing ever. I know this is a comforter. You're supposed to sleep underneath it, but I am weird, and I just have a blanket on top because this is really comfy. Yes, this is my bed, this is where I sleep. This is where Gussie sleeps, right Gussie? My boyfriend, for every Valentine's Day that we have spent, he would always get me these Squishmallows. And this was before Squishmallows a thing. So now, like, they don't even have the ones that look like a pillow. They all just, like, stand up now, which I'm really sad about. So my future Squishmallows for Valentine's Day are not going <laughs> to look like this anymore. But this one is Dino, and this one is Reginald. So cute. I still have the tag on this. I don't know why. I still do. But this is where I sleep. And then I have a little fan right here. Like I said, I get hot very easily, like how people get cold easily. So got to have that for emergencies. The plugs right there. And then down here, I have snacks. I really, it's just a lot of miscellaneous things down here. So I just like to keep it tucked in right there. I got this for free too. And then here is some <laughs> uh, cheap decor. Um, that's a headband. And these are my candle warmers. I do not know where to put them. There's a candle right there. And it just kind of, it looks nice though for, like, you know, a grad student's bed. I would think so. And there's like a little window right there. And ooh, you guys are like eyeing my Bath and Body Works collection. Hello! This is my little collection. I actually bought this storage on Amazon. I love having it here, like in this specific location in my room. But my boyfriend, he literally likes it when it's right here. Let me show you guys. He likes it right here. Yeah, so literally right in between of us. It makes sense, but sometimes I feel like it's out of the way. But I mean, I can still walk through, you know? I can still walk through, but I, I prefer it over there. Let me know down below what you guys think. Sometimes I'll just like move it just because it has rollers. But just to get a little bit more closer, these are my fine fragrance mist. Love her to death. And it looks like little honeycombs. I'm obsessed. Pink and Victoria's Secret mist. And then I also have my body lotions right here. This is the body creams. And then I have the body lotions here and some shower gels. And I've actually rotated since the last time you guys saw me do my organization video. Do you guys like it like this? Or do you guys like it like this? I like it like this more. So here is a 360 view of my room. It honestly looks very spacious, but not really, <laughs> to be honest. But it's like our office, but then also a place where we sleep. So, I mean, one day having two bedrooms or like two rooms in like an apartment or something, that would be really nice. That was basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of my room. Me and Gussie gotta go to bed. Look at him. He is literally slumped. He's so sleepy. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. And let me know down below what kind of videos you guys want to see next on my channel. And I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for always supporting me. Okay. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.